G'day, I'm Paul. I just got an exciting email from Tesla giving me the heads up that as you watch this, full self-driving is now enabled in Australia and New Zealand for all customers that have already paid for full self-driving and have hardware for compatible Model 3s or Model Ys. And sorry, we're in the middle of filming here. I just wanted to get onto this video before it was old news. Um, full self-driving, as you already know from our video, we tested it in Brisbane, allows the vehicle to drive under your supervision, but without you touching anything effectively. It'll accelerate, it'll brake, it'll indicate, it'll stop, uh, it'll change lanes, it'll park for you. It does the whole gamut of things. And we actually shot a video uh, with a detailed review of how that works. You can click up there to watch that. But key details here are if you have already bought full self-driving and you have hardware for compatible Model 3 or Model Y, this will happen automatically overnight as long as your car is connected to Wi-Fi. You'll wake up in the morning when, uh, after you've watched this video and your car will be ready to go. If you don't have uh, FSD already paid for, you can go out and buy it if you have a hardware for enabled Model 3 or Model Y and it will be enabled on your car as soon as you connect to Wi-Fi. If you have hardware 3, unfortunately it's not available yet, even if you have paid for it. The cost, $10,000 plus, dollars, so it's an insane amount of money, uh, but they will be doing subscriptions soon, and they are going to cost $149 per month in Australia, or $159 New Zealand dollars per month uh, if you're in New Zealand. So uh, since we shot our video in Brisbane, where I got to test the, the thing out, go to Bunnings and do all that sort of stuff, I've actually spent three or four days with a Model Y here in Melbourne, and I literally drove everywhere in full self-driving mode. Even if it was down to the shops uh, or on a long distance drive, I drove everywhere. And for the most part, I thought it was pretty good. Um, did have a couple of little issues though. Uh, randomly, it would slow down on the freeway to like 50 k's an hour, even though we're in a 100 k an hour zone and there were no speed signs. So that really started frustrating me. And it was really indecisive at times, especially when it came to getting off freeways in traffic. It would, it would leave lane changes really late, even if it had opportunity to do it earlier. And then if you're in stop-start traffic, no one's letting you in and you just have to take over yourself. So there's a few things there they need to fix. The FSD version we have or have tested in Australia is actually an older version. So there is a chance that we will actually get a newer version that corrects a lot of these issues. And if we do, I'll have another test of it then and see how it goes. But anyway, exciting news. If you have already paid for full self-driving and you have a hardware for enabled car, you will now have full self-driving finally. If you haven't paid for it yet, you can add it to your car. If you have hardware three, it is yet to be enabled and we don't know yet when it is going to be coming. But anyway, quick and dirty video. Thank you for watching. And like I said, if you haven't seen our other video of full self-driving tested in Australia, make sure you check that out. There is a link in the description below. But until next time, take it easy.